Columbia Public Schools announced today that students will not have class for three days in February. Those days are January 21st, 24th, 25th. Those are going to be teacher work days. And then the school district is adding two early release days on February 9th and March 9th. ABC 17's Hannah Falcon is live after hearing from teachers, parents, and students about these changes. Hannah, the district made these changes because of a larger number of absences. Deb Lucas, I have the district's COVID dashboard pulled up right here. And from this, we know that there's 351 students out with COVID or COVID exposure. But what really tells the story right here is the staff out. This is the grand total of staff in the district out, which is 96. And that is creating a need for substitute teachers that's not being filled. They had a fill rate of of only around 40% this week for substitute teachers. And that is why the district is making these changes and adding these extra work days. That break I think is doing a, a good thing for the morale in the district, which has taken a huge hit. Columbia Public Schools teacher Noel Gilzow tells me some extra work days are a relief for overworked teachers and students as they wade through a surge of COVID-19 cases. Gilzow said the days off will help with the large amount of teacher absences schools have experienced recently. And I've, I've heard people talking about where they had to take um, multiple classes of students who didn't have teachers and put them in a common area like a cafeteria or something and just show movies. But some parents are now stressed about finding childcare on the days off. Trisha Reed Patchett told me, quote, since there is no longer any COVID relief money, if I can't find childcare, I have to use my earned time off to stay home with my child, end quote. Gilzow said she hopes Columbia Public Schools can find a solution for parents who cannot stay home with their children. And I don't know if that means like all day adventure club or um, certain uh, locations being open to students in the building or something. I hope that we are working on ways to support all of our families. And I also spoke with this Rockbridge High School student, Katherine Cox Literal, and this is her quote right here. She said that her and her friends hope these extra days off will reduce the number of COVID cases in students and teachers. Reporting live, I'm Hannah Falcon, ABC 17 News. Columbia Public Schools announced yesterday it will require masks through February 4th.